Wake, wake, waking up with a mind frame on stun. Gotta get it, get the hustles, my blood. Won't stop, get the ride for the ones that don't quit, get the lack of some funds. Them ones gon' ball by faith, even though going no prime. I'm loving it, able to give back and, and make it in that environment again without being an all white. It's like it's crazy. I'm giving back, showing them that like we're not forgetting about you, we're here for you. Well, when I used to see the chapel services come in, I, I never really thought nothing about it. Um, I was really in the worldly, um, secular, and, and, and not thinking about how much they're doing for us, taking out their time, doing free stuff. And now that I'm doing it, it's like it just shows me so much compassion and, and stuff for these people, man. It's like, I mean, they're taking their time out from their family, from their daily lives, from what they have going on. I was at work all morning, left work and went straight to Darrington unit. You know what I'm saying? So there's something just major, man. While I was sitting in the jail, I ain't have nothing to do there all day. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing to do, just sitting there all day and not having to pay bills, not having to worry about family, not taking care of my kids, not doing anything. And now I'm able to see that type of stuff and I'm explaining that to them so I can sow that seed into their life. I got a brother, man. That I, he watched me grow. His name is Dave Trigger, man. He's head honcho. Like I'm head honcho, thoroughbreds, he head honcho, man. I'm not about to head honcho. There's one, there's one head honcho. He said, ah, there there you go, he said there's one master, one master, there's one pastor. One pastor. And I uh, mean, I'm loving to see this growth in this man. I just watched him over the last year. Just guys doing amazing things in his life. It's amazing how he's uh, just sitting up under the teaching and being humble and being teachable and letting God just have his way. And it's amazing the fruit that he's producing in his life. It's I was in amazing. Orange when he was seeing me. Yeah. Sitting in Orange, I get out of jail, gave my life to Christ, rededicated my life, pushing for the Lord, and I ain't have nothing. Mm. Don't know how I was gonna pay for my rent. Don't know how I was gonna pay for anything I had. My brother Trey Nine came through me, got Copperfield Church, so many churches sewing into my life, helping me pay bills. I have no food. Trey Nine make a call today, said, man, go on, come over where I'm at right now. Let go on, fill your house up with food. We going in the baskets, he helping me, man. You know what I'm saying? Just stuff like that, that just with positivity. You wanna keep yourself around people that's gonna sow into your life, helping your life so you can sow into others' lives and keep it going. You see what I'm saying? Making disciples, it's all about. That's it. It was just understanding what it, what it is in my own life, you know, doing, doing a lot of time in prison. I did, was very fortunate enough to have family to go back to when I got out. But I saw the, the repetitive cycle of friends of mine that I did time with, and we, we studied together and, and did time together, but they get out and they didn't have that, that stability in their life. And, and just the simple things in life, the, the place to go home to, the place to live, the, the, the food, clothing and before they knew it they had, they, had, they, had to, they, had to, they had to make ends meet somehow and eventually the, the cry of the world kept coming back so you know I know what it means to these guys coming out and just getting the foundational things the, the, the tangible things Jesus when he came to, to do men always when you see Jesus doing ministry he always met a tangible need before he met a spiritual need uh -huh. you know he met the woman at the well uh -huh. she got her the well he got her some water first he fed him fed the five thousand he gave him food and 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 and, 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 and bread and fish first, gave them what they needed physically, yeah. then he could meet the spiritual need. Yeah. That's what opens the But like, like I said a minute ago, man, first of all, just seeing his growth over the last year and just how he's submitted to the calling in his life, number one, and followed God. Uh, one master, one pastor, like he said in his song, that, that, that it's not about sitting up in a church and, and, and listening to the pastor, although I think we all need to have a pastor in our life, a pastor figure, but, but you've been that to him. But, but, but just the fact that he sits and listens daily to the Lord, and the Lord orders his steps, and that he can go back in there and relate to these men with the stuff he's been through, the, the, just the, the little things, the, the spreads and the, and, and, and the, and the, uh, and the peppermints and the, and the things that they've done. The, the, catch the, their attention. They'll catch their attention so they can understand that he's on their level and been on their level, and God's bigger than that level. He brings us up out of those levels. He says he reaches down to the pit. He says he takes us out of the pit and sets our feet on a solid ground, establishes our goings, put a new song in our mouth. He's got a new song. Huh. It's a song that's glory to our king. Come visit us at Charm Prison www.charmprisonministry.org. Come volunteer. Come get involved. We love. We need your service. We need your help. Come on out. Turn around real quick. Charm, baby. Workflow inside. Yeah.
divorce the gang. Never have a way to see me go back to that way. Main is the fact, main for the rap game. I'm attacking never last in on the block with a passion to disciple the streets and disciple the G's and disciple whatever that needs. This disciple in. I remember getting cash, remember selling that crack from January back to December, stacking them rags. After that, what I got was the selling the cot and the heartache from the pain that I brought. Know what I'm talking about.